Hi all, welcome to my channel BK World TV. Today we will be taking a look at the Star Trek USS Prometheus uh, Excel version from Eagle Moss. <music> So what we have here today is the Star Trek USS Prometheus, the Excel version from Eagle Moss. Uh, I got this over also from Master Replica uh, when they had it in stock. I think it uh, <clears throat> sometimes uh, recently come, come, stock comes and goes. So uh, if you haven't gotten it and want to get it, uh, just check out the Master Replica website. But anyways. Uh, so if you take a look, look at the uh, box, uh, you can see the uh, model there. Uh, and then uh, just take a look at the side, the back. Uh, it's basically another uh, picture of the model. <coughs> then we got the uh, logos for all the uh, Star Trek shows. So anyways, uh, we will open this up. Uh, the box did come sealed. I already removed that uh, and it takes a while and this one uh, does come with the magazine which is uh, which is nice to have so we'll take a look at the magazine first so if we take a look, look at the magazine for the USS Prometheus <clears throat> it's obviously the Prometheus class uh, the length is uh, 415 meters uh, if we zoom in for you guys right there uh, it's uh, in the 24th century, and then has the multi-vector. Uh, it's a multi-vector assault vessel. Uh, has the uh, that uh, multi-vector assault mode that we see in the uh, Voyager episode. So uh, if we zoom back out, as you can see the entire magazine. Right, there we go. <coughs> uh, so basically, it has the uh, specifications uh, similar to the one I've. Right earlier, uh, some of the technology it has is the ablative armor, or the regenerative shielding, and the multivector assault mode. Obviously, uh, yeah. So basically, uh, I think uh, the Prometheus when it uh, originally aired, uh, when it showed up, showed up in the Voyager episode, uh, it was on a deep space assignment. I think it was on the shakedown uh, cruise, and then got uh, hijacked by Romulans, unfortunately. Uh, <clears throat> I think it, I believe also it has uh, Andy Dick as the uh, EMH Mark II, and then we got the, uh, the EMH Mark I from uh, Voyager, our doctor there. And you got some of the uh, I think the screenshots uh, from the series or from that uh, episode here in this page. Maybe zoom in a little bit, maybe better. Uh, but <clears throat> yeah, overall, I think when I first saw the episode for from Voyager. I like the multi-vector sub mode and I thought it looked kind of cool. Uh, going uh, automatically uh, targeting and showing the Romulan warbird but anyways uh, here you can see some of the concept art for the Prometheus as well uh, as well as you can see the uh, separated sections when it does the uh, multi vector goes into multi vector assault mode, <clears throat> and then uh, I believe uh, this episode also I think it also used the uh, Herogen uh, communications array, so it introduced the uh, Herogen species uh, as well. And then we later get to see the uh, those Herogens uh, in the Future Voyager episodes, at least some, uh, at least in a few episodes. But yeah, here it talks about I think the uh, <coughs> uh, as well as uh, other uh, the the creator uh, uh, Zimmerman uh, as well, creator of the uh, EMH. But yeah, overall I did like the uh, USS Prometheus. I said it was one of the uh, cool looking uh, ships, at least. Uh, at that time but anyways uh, we will now go ahead and take a look at the uh, model itself so here we have the <coughs> model so we'll go ahead and take out the model uh, for you guys so you, as you can see we got the uh, Prometheus in there we'll take out the uh, model and then the stand and the base as well so first we will go over the uh, base, uh, just look at the uh, sticker, so it says USS Prometheus, uh, registry NX-59650, 
uh, and then the I think it's the uh, 20, um, the specific uh, model number here uh, is 232346-A slash A uh, for this uh, base that I got. But anyways, uh, so if we zoom back out, so you can see the model now. So as you can see, uh, basically you got the uh, Prometheus uh, right here. Uh, do you notice that I believe it's just Eagle Moss's imperfections, uh, the windows, uh, at least the uh, the painting does not align with the uh, the engraved uh, windows that are on the uh, model itself. So, but uh, it's uh, typical uh, Eagle Moss uh, uh, production issues there. But uh, overall, I do like the sh design of the Prometheus. Uh, the, uh, the top part uh, of the hull is all uh, die-cast or metal, and then the rest is plastic, so underneath is all plastic as well as the uh, nacelles that's all uh, plastic. But overall, I do like the uh, the detailing, uh, besides the, uh, the issue with the uh, paintings on the windows, uh, the detailing of the hull and all the, uh, all the, all the intricate lines for the hull uh, looks very uh, uh, good as well as the uh, little darker to gray tone color, uh, as well as the Aztecing for that gray. And then on the bottom side uh, as well. And then we got the uh, front side there with the main deflector and then the rear side. I do wish maybe uh, the model could have uh, maybe separated. So it kind of looks like a, it goes into multi-vector assault mode, but uh, I suppose that would probably increase uh, production costs and maybe uh, very difficult to produce and very expensive. But uh, yeah, maybe that's something maybe someone in the future maybe could try. Uh, that'll be interesting to see. But uh, anyways, yeah, so as you can see, we got the uh, USS Prometheus right there with the uh, registry number as well. Uh, other than the window uh, issues, I don't see other glaring problems uh, overall with this Eagle Moss model. Uh, only the uh, windows, uh, as you can see, the, it's not lined up with the indentations of the, of the windows there, the painting of the windows not lined up. But uh, and that, everything else looks fine. So I just had to uh, deal with that. It's nothing uh, surprising been expected but yeah overall I do like the uh, design of the Prometheus something that looked uh, at that time looked uh, cool and futuristic uh, let me know down, down in the comments below what you think of the Prometheus do you, do you like the USS Prometheus or do you like uh, other ships in Starfleet besides the Prometheus let me know Yes, anyways, uh, this has been a just a quick unboxing and review of the USS uh, Prometheus XL version from uh, Eagle Moss. Uh, let me know uh, if you have this model or not and uh, what you think of it uh, as well. Or if you uh, plan to get it from Master Replica or somewhere, uh, uh, let me know that as well. Uh, anyways. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.